A socialist, communist, and pansexual genderqueer all walked into the same bus station. And this happened. What do we want? Pension! When do we want? Now! What do we want? Pension! When do we want? Now! Looking out for you, we're always searching for new ways to illuminate issues and educate our audience. Which is why we were thrilled to find a college socialist conference taking place in our neighborhood. We met people from all sides of the ideological spectrum, like socialists, democratic socialists, bog people, and communists. I got my anarcho-communist tattoo. Really? I'm proud of it. Yeah. I'm happy. So do you consider yourself a communist more than socialist? Yes. Okay. Now how does anarcho-communist, forgive me, because like anarchy is really far right wing, and communism is way further to the left. Have you ever read any Hegel? No. He's a philosopher. As you can see, this was a culturally and intellectually diverse group who were mostly inclusive. <sighs> There's no gender neutral. I get it, we've been dealing with social justice warriors and trigger warnings a little too much lately, so we thought it'd be nice to dive into some economics. Something a little more meaty, a little more dry. Uh, but first, we had to sign up. All right, time is money, so we're here on the site now, the USA, USAS, USAS, and we're going to register for the conference. So register your name, what is the name and local number of your group? Do we make, make up a group? Um, all the feminist Oh, all the yeah. feminist frequencies. Just .com. .com. Because that saves us legally. Dietary restrictions. That seems weird for an economic conference. None. Vegetarian. Vegan, of course. Kosher. Gluten-free. Let's just check. Let's check all of them. Except for kosher. Uh, do you have any disabilities we should accommodate for? Let's keep... Well, that, they didn't even write the grammar properly. No. You shouldn't end... In a preposition. Uh, race, ethnicity. Ah, the infamous Sean King clause. Person of color, because that's okay now, you can't that's say okay. you can't say colored yeah. people. White or European descent, prefer not to answer other. Wouldn't prefer not to answer just be filed under other? This seems like an opportunity, this is a perfect example. This is clearly an opportunity, they could just say other. By the way, you don't need to say other. Asian's not even in there. No. This is ridiculous. So Asian's not even in there. You can just say other, but they leave this prefer not to answer box for people who want to make a statement that like, well, I'm really uncomfortable, you shouldn't. Well, just, just type other. It's right there. I'm gonna put prefer not to answer because we're being dicks. Class identity. We wanna say working or work, working poor or working class. What, what would come after professional class? I can only imagine they mean working, middle, professional, or asshole. I don't know, we'll put other. Do you identify as having a disability or being differently abled? Differently abled? What does that what does that even mean? Let's uh let's call a resident cripple. Differently abled? No, of course that's not a real thing. In fact, it's kind of insulting to those of us who are actually disabled. And that clears that up. Sexuality. Straight, LGBTQ. So they put lesbian, gay, bisexual, queer, because sometimes Q is questioning. Pansexual is actually written as a thing. Unsure or other. We're going to put other because you are asexual, which I think is a little insensitive of them. Gender identity, female, male, non-binary, trans, other. Pause. What does any of this have to do with socialism? Again, non-binary could go under other. Good. Because non-binary is not the script. It could just be other. They want to give someone the opportunity to say, I'm non-binary. But let's put other and let's specify her math for day. So not gay Jared is an asexual hermaphrodite. You can go screw yourself, but he's just not interested. <laughs> How much of the conference are you able to pay for? There's five different prices here. 15, 20, 25, 30, or I would like to make a donation to support others coming to this conference, little heart. It also looks like a pointy pecker if you look at it from the right angle. In summation, Not Gay Jared is a vegan, gluten-free, prefer not to answer racial ethnicity, working or poor class, asexual hermaphrodite, incapable of pain for the socialist conference. And I don't think they'll bat an eye.
After a very long, drawn-out sign-up experience, we were ready to get some hands-on socialism training. Only when we showed up to said yeah, conference, we found yeah. out that it wasn't a conference at all. We need chant leaders. Anyone can come up with a chant or lead a chant. Chalkers, we're going to Chalk Central Station. You need to write quickly. Another just helpful tip for us as activists, but also today, if you're interested and want to, want to record something, there's an ACLU app where you can record something and it'll save it to the ACLU website. Turned out to be a glorified staged local union protest uh, for which you got to pay to participate. Students against sweatshops and student socialists were going to meet with local union representatives to push for higher wages. Only the actual union workers never showed up. Are some people late? I see you shaking your head. Uh, yeah, I, I can't answer that question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Off the record. Off the record, yeah. So you, you don't want you don't want the union to look like they're late. Uh, no, they're supposed to be more drivers here, but they're not here. That's what's fucked up. They're supposed to be what? They're supposed to be more drivers here, but they're not here. Oh, okay. But you don't know that. No, no, we don't know that. They showed up. You just overheard me talking. Yeah, to exactly. Color me surprised. We learned that more important than economics or true organizational training, uh, it was imperative that we taught the flash mob. Rapid, this is what you asked for. Let's get this contract on the move. A very lazy flash mob. ACU! That's what these junior Mensa members came up with, and after rehearsing said flash mob dance at what I can only assume was quarter speed for a grand total of two times, they were ready to head downtown for a day of chanting, marching, and protesting. But to get downtown, the boogieing socialists needed to find a lift. Um, who's in the car? I have a car. Of course, me and Not Gay Jared were always willing to lend a hand. Meet this girl. I don't remember her name because it was so traumatic I think my brain blanked it out. But she was one of the organizers of this event. You says as a national or does this too, of avoiding taking a ton of money from third party organizations so that way we can keep our independence and continue to fight for collective liberation and continue to fight corporate right. greed without any- But like, but like, but, I mean unions are fine because you're working with them. Yeah, yeah. Because I saw on the sign too, like you guys, you know, microaggressions and talking about that, um, which I think a lot more students are becoming aware of now. Uh, do you think, I mean, it, do you think the two are kind of, yeah, do you think the two are like one and the same and they're making progress on all fronts or is it like, is it, okay, this is the economics and these are the social issues. Like do the unions care about the social issues and the racial and like the, the gender injustice? The union is just the people. So yeah, because the people are affected by this. It's not like a third party. It's we, the people, are affected by this. And so we're using our power collectively as a union to help ourselves as a whole, not just in our job. Right. What we fight for is this idea of collective liberation, which is inter intersectionality, of we all have these intersecting identities. Like, I am not just a woman. I am also queer. I'm also working class. I have all these different intersecting identities. But the lengthy car ride in which we gained these students' trust allowed us the opportunity to get to know these kids, to really discuss the issues, the economic viability of their choices, and a vision for their future. And what are you both studying? Um, I'm studying political science, sociology, and philosophy. Okay. And I do classics, I translate ancient Greek. So oh, okay. <laughs> so, well, then why, why are you doing it if you think it's useless? That's the only thing I'm good at. Oh, okay. So what do you want to do with that when you when you do enter the workforce? Cry. So you, so so you you identify as a woman, but you identify orientation as queer. Yeah. Okay. I'm sexuality queer, not gender. They're two different things. Right. So I mean, so but so you identify gender as a woman, but the sexuality yeah. queer. Okay. Yeah. Um, or more specifically, pan. But okay. Uh, I queer is a less like restricting label. Um, so how how is queer less? He's he's asexual. Yeah. Does that count in queer? Queer can be oh. okay. non-standard. Okay. Because that, that wasn't on the uh, the fill out. He's he's asexual, so he just put yeah. in other. I totally forgot to put that. Yeah. It's not to make a big deal of it, but do you guys um you plan on maybe looking at updating the forms, sign the sign forms next year for the? Yeah, we usually. I some of those that things? was my fault. We uh, so um. We usually have that on there. Um, um, asexual? Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, okay. 
Like I've seen that okay, on the so national you might need to turn Oh my. Yeah. Um, but it was <laughs> my fault. I was in the hospital last week, and so I had to do a lot of that work from the hospital, and my. Um, brain isn't working right right now yeah. um okay so that was my fault i'm really sorry it's it's um, a, i mean that's okay not like i should i should know better um so, so well one thing it's there, it will be there though yeah okay it, yeah, yeah yeah yeah. it wasn't on the form do you know what a her, hermaphrodite is so he was born with uh, uh, both and you have the decision to make and so it's just kind of with a lot of people yeah. don't realize um it's not uh, a trans oh sorry. One, sorry it's not a trans thing a lot of people yeah. at that point just aren't very interested in anything sexual. Did you did you uh, set up any kind of protest or anything? You know, Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani were in yesterday? Uh, Could, no. We passed we my did house. Not. I didn't know they were there. No one knew they were Nobody there. Nobody knew what they Oh, okay. So I, I don't... Hear no one screaming knew. Just go in? Yeah, just park wherever. I hear okay. screaming outside my house and then my downstairs neighbor, Alex, comes in and he goes, Donald J. motherfucking Trump, the man just came by our home. And I'm like, what the fuck? Was he black? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I always do voice impressions. That's I okay. I mean them to be like... I know. It's just... Little stereotypical, but that's how they talk. I mean, if they're talking about John, my neighbor's black and he does talk that way. But I mean, it's I don't want to say like that's how they talk. That might be a little problematic. Well, that's like how. Yeah, Alex sorry, talks. I could be. Well, I mean, I, that's, that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's how, how Alex talks. Alex. That's I mean, that's how my neighbors talk when I'm saying okay. they they talk that way. Oh, okay. My neighbors. Okay, sorry, I misunderstood. No. No, just across the board, we won't do the voices or say they. That's how they talk. That's all problematic. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's like a competition as to who could possibly be more offended. You, you can't have a conversation with these people. You cannot have a conversation. Something is triggering to someone else, and we all have to act as though it's valid. Because if you don't acknowledge everyone's minor offense is valid, you could traumatize them. I, I have PTSD, and I've tried to do it as, like, the therapy. So okay. Like, what caused the PTSD? That's a rude question. Oh, my apologies. Sorry, I didn't mean to, uh... Sorry, sorry, I don't mean to snap at it. No, that's okay. I mean, I, I, listen, PTSD is a serious issue, so I should... Clearly from her time served in Kosovo, no matter, it was time for the students to really get things done by marching down the street with poorly made signs and chanting. Because... What else? Grand Rapids is a union town. Get up! Xenophobia and racism. Get up! Get down. Are you one of the chanters? No. No? Oh. See, I came in late. I didn't realize that was... I feel like we could be a little more creative with the chants. Racism and xenophobia, if you want. <laughs> I hate myself. Little known fact. A sure sign of a successful protest is for it to look unbelievably Solidarity sad and lonely. Solidarity 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 forever, the union makes us strong. This went on for a while, but uh, most interesting as part of their protest, they planned to block buses and commuters from getting to and from work. So there's that. It's public. Then you understand that we can't do as you say. Yep, that's fine. Thank you. Call the police, thanks. Well, so they're gonna call the cops. I, you know, I got a warrant. Do you really? Yeah. What do we want? Fair contracts. What do we want? Now. What do we want? Fair contracts. What do we want? Now. Oddly enough, the local minorities didn't seem too grateful for this group comprised entirely of fat white feminists and beta males fighting for equality on their behalf. I mean, we're we're doing it for everyone. Okay. We're doing it for the people! Okay. That's not nice! Oh, angry black man, you just don't know how progress is made. Either way, the bus-blocking protesters disbanded after about five minutes, or, uh, for context, about the time the very first bus came through. Now! We're gonna let them through? Follow Lindsay. I don't, I don't think we should have just moved. Because think. if we continuously disrupt them from coming in, then we can be criminally charged with causing a Oh, okay. So you can just disrupt a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Like intermittent disrupting. I was kind of disappointed that they just, literally the first bus, they broke up for it. Wasn't the whole plan to... That's what they said. So why are they such p****s? 
Yeah, fight the power, unless there might be some slight risk involved. Why are we gonna let them through, though? Why are we gonna let them through, though? I don't want to. But why? Is it because it it's an arrestable fault. offense? Is that what they said? Well, you could get fired for this. You could get fired? I could, I'm, I probably will get fired for this. Oh, okay, so now we're gonna move I'm then. Al I'm already at the point of being fired, so I don't care if we block shit. You don't say. You seem like a fine upstanding employee for which any employer would be grateful that you stand amongst them. That being said, I don't want to shortchange this guy. He was smart enough to get students to do the union's work, even though the union slept in. Right. Yes, because the best way to fight the man is to ensure that you don't cause said man even slight discomfort. So instead, they just decided to chuck the hell out of things. Just in case you thought it was unfair for people like me to paint college socialists as whiny children, here they are literally whining through the use of a child's play toy. At the end of the day, we went to this conference to learn about working class economics. What did we learn? Uh, nothing, other than the very small minority of people there who did work, weren't students, couldn't stand the people who employed half the city. Especially for workers, almost everyone in this town is employed by either, you know, at some degree, the Van Andels or DeVosses. Yes. Um, you know? Me included. Really? Oh, yeah. What, do you work for Van Andels or DeVosses? Both. <laughs> really? How so? I work at the uh, DeVos Conference Center and I work at the Van Andel Arena. Those are assholes. Animals. This is important that a lot of channels will avoid talking about this because they don't want to tick off the Bernie contingency, even though they still hate social justice warriors. Anywhere today in the American political spectrum or the current education establishment, socialism and social justice are inextricably tied. The first people to tell you this are said socialists, whether it's Bernie Sanders, whether it's Jill Stein, or whether it's every single person at this conference slash protest. Now here's the deal, I feel bad for all these little PTSD green-haired bog people. They're being taken advantage of by people who know better, people leading them by the nose, people exploiting them, like the unions who are getting them to pay them to do their bidding, and then not even showing up. Some of these kids will grow up to be community organizers, liars, deceivers, and manipulators, but a lot of them are just reading something they saw on a Tumblr blog or they heard from their professor when they were impressionable, and they're looking for a place to belong. That's why socialism, which always focuses on the collective as opposed to the individual, is very appealing. Just like the kid who got beaten up and he wants to join a biker gang. The idea is that if anyone in society has a master position over a slave position, okay. then there's automatically an equality that can Okay, so liberation, we're talking about sort of a yeah, collective like liberation. Right, but it's it's not about the individual liberation, the collective. No, yes. Okay. These kids can't stand on their own two feet. They can't think for themselves, and so they join other people to become a part of one big giant groupthink organism. That's expected from these kids in college, but we should expect more from our elected officials. We should expect more from our professors. We should expect more from our media. Because from here forward, these kids have two options, and really only two. They can continue living in their fantasy land, like Joe Biden, never being gainfully employed, suckling at the government teat for the rest of their life, or the real world is going to kick them in the teeth and they're going to regret ever wasting so much time. But we didn't have time to explain that to all of these pansexual, non-binary socialists. We were tired from all the chanting, the sign making, the flash mobbing, so we decided to communicate it to them as best we can. Okay. It's it's irony. Irony. That one's gonna sting. The irony, because he was here yesterday. You've got mail. Hey Steven, we uh we got mail from the socialists. What what does it say? Uh would you two be willing to come back to campus and talk about how you're planning on reporting the action? Wanna grab this one? Sure. And send. What did you say?
video, subscribe by clicking the button below because it works now. Or click my face to go to ladderwithcrowder.com for articles every day. Uh, we don't have a Patreon set up because we don't want to beg for your money, but we need it because our network conveniently dropped us after we picked fights with the biggest liberals here on YouTube. They're just open-minded, young Turks. That's one for you with your dwindling audience.